By far the best feature that Google Forms offers is the ability to give a quiz that grades itself. We just have to go through a few quick settings and this quiz will be ready to give to the students. As you can see, I've already typed in my questions, which we learned to do in an earlier section. So now let's learn how to make this a quiz that will grade itself. The first thing we need to do is to go up to settings. And when you click on settings, you're going to see what we learned about before, that there's the general settings, the presentation settings, and this time we're going to click on quizzes. To make this a quiz, I'm going to turn this toggle on to make this a quiz. And then there's some quiz options here. To release the grade, I can do it immediately after they submit the form, or I could do it later after a manual review. I like to do it immediately after each submission, so the students see their score as soon as they submit their quiz. And then there's some other options on the bottom, and these deal with what the respondent can see after they submit the quiz. If it's checked, they can see which questions they missed. If you'd like, you could check that they can see the correct answer to the ones they missed. I don't like to do that because I don't like them to be able to share those answers, um, so I always turn that off and then um, whether or not they can see the point values. If all these look like what you want, you click Save. And now we're going back to our Google Form because we need to set some answers so that this quiz can grade itself. This looks just like a Google Form that we created earlier in the session, but you're gonna notice that if I click on one of these questions, an answer key option pops up. If I click on that, I can set the correct answer, and in this case, it's rule, and I wanna set the point value. So I'm gonna put this at one. The other thing I can do is I can add answer feedback so that if the student gets it wrong, I can redirect them as to maybe why they got it wrong, or if they got it right, I might say something like, good job, but that is completely optional and is not something you need to do on the Google quiz. If I have the correct answer checked, I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit question to go back to my Google form. And one tip and trick that I like is that if I have a whole multiple choice section, what I do is I go ahead right from the beginning, here let me show you. I'm gonna create a new question. What I do is I hit answer key. Before I do anything else, I set my point value and then I click edit question and I make it required. And if I'm doing a multiple choice quiz and I type in my question here, what is the answer? and maybe I have A, B, C, and D. If I'm going to do that for many of my questions, I'm gonna simply make a copy. That way, I don't have to set the point value, it's already set for me. Um, if I'm using this just as an answer sheet and they have the questions on a separate you know, handout and I'm just doing the A, B, C, D, it makes it super easy because I can just put you know, like question one, I can copy this and simply change it to question two and all my point values are set and everything's ready to go. So after I've gone through and I've set all the correct answers and all the point values, I'm ready to go ahead and send this to my students. So I can hit send and all I do is I click on the link, I'll copy this link and I post it to Google Classroom so that the students have easy access to it. And of course, this is what my quiz looks like to the students. And they, you can see I made all the questions required so they can't possibly submit unless they complete all the questions. And then in real time, I can see their responses. But when I'm looking for quiz grades, I click on the Google Sheets icon at the top and I open up my Google Sheets. And when I look at Google Sheets, this is what it looks like. Now normally right here, there's the name column because that's my very first question, but I hid that for this tutorial so that you can see the names of my students. But you can see right here, their score. So that's super easy. It graded it for me. I know exactly what time they took it and I can see all the answers right here in my Google Sheet. So let's go back to our Google quiz and I just want to point out one thing to you. When you have fill in the blank or short answer, there is a way you need to set up the answers so that it doesn't mark things wrong that are actually correct. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so let me choose this question here. And instead of multiple choice, I am going to make it short answer. And so now the kids, instead of choosing the answer for multiple choice, they have to type it in, okay? So I'm gonna click on answer key. And what I'm gonna do is the answer is interact. So I'm gonna type in interact and it's gonna, that's gonna be a correct answer. But what if it accidentally capitalizes? the first letter. I'm going to put that in as a correct answer. And what if the kids type in all caps? Put that in as an answer. That way it'll mark any of these three correct. I'm going to mark all the others incorrect. And that way you ensure that as long as they put this answer in, they will get credit for that question. So there you have it. This is a game changer. If I have a long test, I will go ahead and print out a copy of the test and I'll use Google Forms for an answer sheet or um, oftentimes with these short word 
part quizzes, these STEMS quizzes that they have every week. They're really quick, really easy. I put them here on Google Quizzes and it's one less thing that I have to grade every week. So go enjoy all your extra free time.